Okay, here we have the brand new album by Greta Van Fleet, Starcatcher. Greta Van Fleet is obviously one of the biggest rock and roll bands right now, if not the biggest one, at least of the last five, ten years. And this is, as I said, their new album, Starcatcher. And I originally did not review this because I listened to it a few days late. This came out six days ago, so last Friday. It is the 27th right now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to post it on this day anyway, but I went out today and wanted to get the vinyl release of this because unfortunately I don't have any other Greta Van Fleet on vinyl, but that will soon change because some of those I need. But I really want to talk about this one because it surprised me. It was about $38 Canadian, rounded up to like 42 or something whatever it is with tax, but I thought I was just getting a standard edition and I mean technically it is, but still, this is the type of thing that all vinyl releases should be if they're just a standard version. I thought I was just getting, you know, you open and you just get this with the disc. But there's more to that here, and I want to show you here. I already opened it. I wanted to listen to it again, and I'll kind of give my thoughts um, on it partially as I go through, but... This is a really good album. It's not my favorite from Greta Van Fleet. That will still definitely go to Battle of the Garden's Gate because that album is just mind-blowing. It's my favorite album of the decade so far. I doubt anything will beat it because that's how good it is. But let's talk about this specific vinyl release. So the one thing that's very nice is that this is embossed. Um, you can't really see on camera, but it is. You can run your fingers across it. Same with the little Greta Van Fleet thing here. And it has this different type of texture to it. You're not feeling all the individual little dots. I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but if you've seen the album cover, you know what it's like. And it is a very simple album cover, but it works and this definitely adds to it. Same thing with the back. Every one of the titles is embossed. And you know, of course the Roman numerals thing is cool. Even the signature from Greta Van Fleet at the bottom. This stuff isn't, but it doesn't need to be but let's open it up so as much as we can so opening up here it didn't say anything specific about the vinyl release so i thought i was just getting the normal black one but i was wrong because i ended up if it'll come out of here getting this clear one i love colored vinyl if this even counts as that oh, it looks like there's something on the end there take that off but it's very simple but it works here i'm just gonna set that down but it just says Greta Van Fleet Starcatcher side A it doesn't list the songs or anything there but there's this cool spiral thing that works when you're playing it and same thing for side B you know Greta Van Fleet Starcatcher you can see all these little marks on the disc I don't really know why they're there but it's not scratches with the vinyl which is very nice so I'm going to put this back uh, one thing I do want to mention is that it is in this type of where's the opening <laughs> this type of it's paper I don't even know how to describe it um, which when you first take it out is really annoying because the whole thing comes out with it but now that I put it back it didn't do it again but it's nice I think it's like the best thing to put your records in so that's nice but also what it comes with I was like okay cool it comes with a little insert you know that's nice when they have that um, it just has all the songs, all the lyrics going across that way over a nice picture. Tells you side A ends with Runaway Blues and side B starts with The Indigo Streak, which is one of the best songs on it. And then we have this picture at the back, which is nice. Tells you everything about it, who produced it, where it was recorded, you know, mixed, all the stuff that you, people like me, like. I, I know that not everybody cares about this stuff, but I really do. So it's nice to have that. But also... This is really kind of what sold it. Be like, wow, I'm surprised this wasn't more money. It's this little booklet here. So a lot of Greta Van Fleet fans probably knew about this. They've seen this image. I thought this would just, if there was a gatefold, like this would be on the inside. But no, there's no gatefold. But that's okay because of the stuff we get in it. But it's stuff like this that makes these vinyl releases so much better. And, you know, most of them come with the the record I can say and then insert like this which is nice but it's when they kind of up it and add something else like this and don't charge you 20 or something more that really helps I think and really makes people want to collect more and makes me happier when I open it and don't realize that but I'm gonna flip through it for you hopefully keep it all in frame here because it is quite big we got Danny here throwing some sand so this photo shoot is awesome you got Josh looking 
so cool so so cool there's just like little things like the the marks on his face or i don't even know some people probably know the whole story behind this but i do not i am a huge red van fleet fan but i am not um to the level of some other people but that's not a bad thing this is one of my favorite shots this would be definitely a poster i'd be getting if it is somewhere so if it is let me know the sword shining with the little sun off there everybody just perfectly placed it's really great we move on to jake and sam here they just look so cool i just had to catch my breath there but again he's got the sword here this is probably the most beautiful thing i've ever seen <laughs> no but as you can tell he's definitely my favorite member of greta van fleet but i love them all and then this also just kind of almost iconic picture even though the album just came out friday this has been like the picture most people associate with it i do think it is the coolest again as i said if there was a gatefold it'd probably be this or it'd be this whole picture which is really awesome and then you have this at the back so it just gives you something to look at while you're listening if you don't want to read the lyrics if you already know them and i think that's what makes these vinyl releases better and makes them more interesting because it just gives you something. You always talk about, oh yeah, you can look at the artwork on the front and back, but you can also flip through stuff. I think that's what elevates it if I haven't already made my point clear. But if you've listened to Starcatcher by Greta Van Fleet, let me know what you think of it down below if I can get this in the sleeve. I was doing it the wrong way. That is why. Um, I will say my favorite songs after two listens of it now, once on Apple Music and once on here, are probably... Falling Sky, Sacred the Thread, The Indigo Streak, Frozen Light. Those are probably my favorites, but I really like it all. It's not my favorite, as I said, but it's really great. I don't think they've ever made anything close to a bad album. So I'm excited for you guys to pick this one up. And if you got any of the other versions, I know they released like the signed ones, stuff like that. Let me know which one you got in the comments down below. And thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Over and out.